what is that face over there, sir? Hi. All right, you guys, want to do a quick update? <laughs> Put your lips down. What are you doing over there? Quick update. So as you know, last night, someone dropped four dogs off here at the Humane Society at 4.30 a.m. We were able to catch one and then in the morning catch this one. And then one of our community members found the third. And the fourth has been spotted. We're just unable to get our hands on her. We don't know where she is at this time. We just have a last known location. So we have a trap set. We have some food and water out and the scent of her or his or her friends here in the trap as well, hoping to lure the dog to safety. Um, we'd really like to get all of all four of them safe. And just wanna really remind our community that this one down here is a female. She's pretty scared, but I get it. It was a rough night. Um, we wanna remind our community to please not abandon animals. Uh, these dogs are totally dogs that we would have accepted if you had contacted us or at minimum place them in a crate. You know, they, they had a very terrifying night that could have easily been avoided. And we don't want to do that to animals. We want to see them safe and loved. And this is really hard on them and our staff and our team who now has to pick up the pieces. So please don't abandon. Call us. Work with us. When we say no, it's because we truly can't take on more animals. Uh, we're doing our best here, but we have limited resources and limited space and we really want to do our best to help you. We try everything we can to at least provide some kind of solutions or support when we do have to say no. But in this specific case, this could have easily been avoided. We would have gladly taken them in. We have room for small dogs like this. Um, and these guys could have had a much smoother transition. Hi, you're very sweet. You are, I love you. Hi, but we're really thankful that these three are safe. These two guys here are pretty friendly, and then the female down here is pretty spooked. But we'll work on her and hopefully get these guys uh, wonderful homes once they're ready. Uh, for now, we're just happy that they're safe and we can't wait to get number four. So if you are you live local here, um, close to Yuva Drive, you stay in there. Stay in there, don't jump, don't do it, don't jump. If you live nearby us, we do have a trap set out. Please don't disturb it. We'll put some signage on there. And if you're um, local and live on Uva Drive, please keep an eye out. We're looking for another dog that looks pretty similar to this one, uh, maybe even a little bit smaller. So not a good location for a small animal to be out in the wilderness here. So we really want to find the fourth dog and we would love your support. If you can help keep an eye out for us, if you do see the dog, please give us a call. We are eagerly hoping to get that dog safe like these ones.